Hi guys, I think it's time for another video. Yes, I think it's been a, about a week or two since I last uploaded the last one, so... And I just got this package in, which if you read the uh, description by now, or the little title on top of the video, you should know exactly what this is. This is a, inside this box, there is an IBM Model M keyboard that I picked up on eBay for something like... a paid 40 bucks plus 9 bucks for shipping which I'm a little bit surprised with the shipping because they shipped it priority mail one day so yeah I'm guessing he kinda lost out on the shipping because I don't think priority mail one day is that cheap anyways not gonna bore you guys too much I'm gonna try to keep this video short so let's open up the box if I can do this one-handed, without damaging anything. One more side. Hold on. Right away, packing peanuts. Oh, oh goody. Now, trick is, get this whole thing out without spilling all the peanuts everywhere. Okay, so it looks like you used some anti-static bubble wrap on it. Might be able to reuse this. Looks packaged pretty well. Trash that goes. Trying to do this one-handed is not easy. You know what, guys? I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to just pause the video right here, and I'll come back when this is all unwrapped. Oh, okay, I'm back. And I save. This is the uh, bubble wrap that I was able to save. So I'll put that away for a later date. But this is not what you guys want to see. What you guys want to see is this. Yes. First off the bat, a little bit dirty, but I can easily clean this up. Now a nice thing about the Model M is removable keycaps. The two-part keycaps, they come off easily and this other part, if you put a little force, I'm not sure if I can do this one-handed, or I might have to do this with another keycap. But let's see if I can get it with this one. I have a little bit more leverage. Come on. You can see down in there. That's not a traditional key switch. That's what. That's a buckling spring key switch, which is mechanical. And is known for having great tactile feedback. And let me tell you how loud these things are compared to a traditional keyboard. I'll just put this back on. Also, this is missing this left arrow key. I can probably get that replaced for cheap online, but I'll do that later. But all these keycaps pretty much come off easily so that makes cleaning a hell of a lot easier now let's take a moment to compare that to a more modern traditional keyboard if I can get the keycap off You can see that there's a little rubber dome down in there. And that's what, when you press down, that's what makes the contact on a traditional keyboard. This, when you press down, it causes the little spring inside to buckle, which then, I believe, hits the walls of the switch, which causes your contact, or something like that. 
Please don't roast me if I'm wrong. I didn't really do much preparing for this video, but... And I have no freaking clue where that bee key cap fell to, so... Eh. I don't care, I'll find it later. Also, another thing... You may notice... This... PS2 cord... Extremely thick... Comparatively speaking to... This... This is almost like twice the thickness. It's also coiled, which is neat. Also, if you go to the back, it's removable. Two little tabs, if I can get them. So the whole, so this comes off. Kind of nifty. Now when we go to the back, we can see that this is we can see the little birth certificate. It was made November 26th of 1991, so that makes this about 24 years old, give or take. You can also see that we have two little feet right here for elevating the thing. Very nice, very handy. And some couple rubber feet, I'm Presuming that's so the thing doesn't move around when the feet are up And you can see four bolts I believe it's a five and a half millimeter size bolt If you remove those this whole keyboard comes apart So you can further clean it Which after this video I will be cleaning this keyboard with so yeah, there's nothing much more I can say about this that I know of. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do another jump cut. I'll pull out my one of my test computers so we can test this keyboard out. Okay, I'm back. I got everything hooked up and we're gonna see if this keyboard even works. I'm using this nice little test monitor I picked up about a month or two ago, I might do a video on it later, but not right now. Without further ado, three, two, one. Okay. Oh, duh. Well, the keyboard seems to work, but I'm at the jump cut again because I'm being an idiot today. I forgot to hook up the monitor cable. Okay, I'm back and it's all booted up. Sorry about that. I just wasn't thinking today. So, we know for a fact lights seem to be working. Where's num lock? Yep, and scroll lock. See, this control delete work. Yes. Okay. Sorry about the unstable camera. This iPad is a bit hard to hold. Let's see, I'll try working through this viewfinder. Uh, See if I can remember even where Notepad is. You can tell my brain's not working today. I'm still kind of recovering from a cold right now. So, I'm also sorry if my voice sounds a little bit off. So, yeah. Let's try just typing something. Okay, seems to work fine. Not that I'm actually surprised by that, but yeah. Also, if you haven't noticed,
this keyboard is louder than your standard keyboard. A lot louder because of the buckling springs. Let's compare this to this rubber dome. Quiet. And this. Loud. So, yep. There's not much more really to say about this keyboard. Just wanted to make this quick video on it because I'm, I was pretty much due for a video anyway and this is just something, this was just perfect to make a video on. So if you held out for this long, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.